Hi everybody, it's Steve, and today we're gonna cover something that really bothered me, something that really gave me a hard time when I was first starting with SSRS reporting services, um, and that's how to build a multi-page invoice. Um, and I, I'm gonna title this really just building an invoice, but specifically the problem comes in is what if you have, you're, you're gonna print a batch of invoices and you want invoice on page one, invoice on page two, how do you get it to paginate? How do you get it to look just right? Um, and I'm gonna say, build every invoice like this. Um, that way you don't have to rework it when the users come to you and change their specs and you'll say, of course, oh Steve, our users don't do that. They know exactly what they want every time. Yeah. Stay with me. All right, here we go. So today's task is to build an invoice report in SSRS, more specifically, um, an invoice report that allows us to have an invoice on page one, an invoice on page two, an invoice on page three, like that. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing that we have to have is we have to have the, um, the, the stored procedure that's gonna power all this. Um, I know that it is possible to put the SQL directly inside of SSRS. I don't do that um, for a lot of reasons. Um, and I'm, I'm just gonna skip those today. We're gonna have a stored procedure that powers this. Um, you, can, you can stop the video here and just kind of copy the uh, SSRS, uh, copy the stored procedure off the screen, or I'm gonna link to the uh, text of the stored procedure in Dyn Developer in the comments below. So here is our stored procedure, and I'm not gonna cover a lot of this, um, except to say that we're gonna use the, um, the SOP 101-100 and 102-100 tables. Um, we're going to join to the uh, customer address table to get the bill to and the ship to addresses. And these two lines right here are going to form the address block for us. None of this is really all that important to our task today, um, but I want to get a fairly reasonable example in the stored procedure for us to, to keep on going. So. Stored procedure, we have that, we'll save it, we'll run it, and we'll get right over to, um, uh, to SSRS. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go to the data sources folder and create a new data source. This just makes our life easier. We're gonna paste in our connection string and we're going to use a specific set of credentials. And there we have our data set created. Back to, let's go here and add a paginated report. Inside of here, we'll choose the table or matrix wizard. We're going to create a data set, but first we need to connect to the, to the uh, data source that we just used. Let's test the connection just to make us, just to be sure we don't have any problems. And we're here. We're gonna choose our stored procedure and I, I know this start procedure is set to pick up all of the invoices in a batch and I happen to know the batch that I want. So we'll key that there just to save ourselves a little time later on. Um, we're gonna have, our major group is gonna be SOP number. So we'll drop that there. I know in the grid, I'm gonna want item number, quantity, unit of measure, unit price, and extended price. So I will control click on all those and drop those into the values. Click next. And I'm not gonna be really concerned with how everything looks today. So we're just gonna click next and click finish and be done with the whole thing. 
So, report builder. If we were to take the heading information for the invoice and put it up here at the top and the footer information and put it down here below the grid, we couldn't achieve our goal of having one invoice on every page because this would be the same on every page. The easiest way to do this is to delete everything and move this grid to the top, close up the footer, close up the space. So the only thing in the report is going to be the grid. Um, I know that I'm not going to need this SOP number column, so I'm just going to delete that column. Let's make the, uh, the item number column wider because I want, it, I want this thing to take up seven and a half inches. So we'll just use that. Um, good. I'm going to want a group header. If you look at this, you'll notice that I don't have a group header for the the, uh, the invoice number, so I'm going to insert a row outside of the group, and there's my invoice number header. Um, I'm not going to need this row, so I'll get rid of that. We'll put it back in later. I'm not going to need this row. Get rid of that. Um, okay, add one more row here. So our titles are going to go in this row. And we're going to need a number of these footers. Uh, let's see, subtotal, uh, miscellaneous freight, and total. going to need that. We're not going to need that. Um, these really should just, these don't need to be summarized. So we're going to change this to just quantity. We're going to change this to just unit price. We're going to change this to just extended price. So this is going to be the subtotal right here. We'll drop in the freight. Here we'll drop in the miscellaneous amount and then our document total is going to be down at the bottom. Let's give those labels. All right, so we need some room up here at the top for the header information. So we're going to merge these cells and then drop in a rectangle. And then because we've got a rectangle in there, we can drop in our ship to information and our bill to information. And just to do it, let's drop in the invoice number up here in the top right corner. And we're almost done down here in the SOP number group down at the bottom, right click, group properties, page breaks between each group, click OK. One last thing, um, when you build the report like this, for some reason, um, it turns off the detail visibility. So we need to go in here and show and uncheck that toggle so that we get some, we get this row in there by default. We'll run the report and there we go. So here is invoice 2255 on page one, invoice 2256 on page two, um, and we have the subtotals and the totals over there uh, down below the report. So we have space up at the top um, to put the customer, uh, maybe the PO number, the, the, the due date, stuff like that. Um, it's not my intent in this example, in this tutorial, to correctly format this thing, I wanted to show you quickly a technique for having multiple invoices in an SSRS report and get them to paginate and be able to show a header 
and a footer. And the basic technique is you just get rid of everything but the grid. The only thing in the report is the grid and that makes it all work. So thanks so much for watching. If there's anything else that you'd like to learn, leave me a note in the comment below and I'll, I'll do a tutorial for you. Thanks so much.